Come in, come in. Robin is in New York visiting her mom with Emma. But you can join us for some NASCAR if you'd like. I'll pass. The sound of the cars gives me a headache every time. It's weird the TV's not on, though. Yeah, there's a rain delay. We were actually, we were talking about a patient. Ugh, uh, it's a bummer. It's still going on. You know what? I'm actually, I'm going to head back to the hospital. I'm going to check on Mrs. Grady's life. Okay, so next time, my place, you bring the beers. Yeah, yeah. yeah? <laughs> Okay. It's nice to see you again. I don't like her. It's obvious that she wants you, and do you really think Robin would be comfortable with Lisa hanging out at your house when right. she's not here? Maxie, you're right. She kind of just sprung it on me, but I need to have a conversation about what's appropriate. Right, okay. Well, um, tell Robin that I scanned the pictures. And I'm sorry for getting all judgmental on you. No, 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 you're right. Um, I'll, I'll tell Robin about the pictures. Thank you. See you later. Bye. arduous task. I mean, when Fair Samantha sets her mind to something, she is a force to be reckoned with, uh, as I'm sure you're I, I know that. That's why I'm asking you for your help. I need you to help her focus on something good, not something that's going to get her sent to prison. Okay. I will do all I can to dissuade her from further rescue missions, but you have to understand that your incarceration has deprived many of your wise counsel, and, and I fear it's not just Fair Samantha that's acting out. The Valkyrie, Mr. Sir, are in dire need of your presence. I've never seen a woman run so fast in stilettos. Oh, I doubt that's true. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah. anyone could outrun those scum of the earth. Oh, please. Okay, I'm going to have to officially admit that these are a little bit challenging, and you know I'm usually an expert. Mm. My feet are swelling. Do you think that they're crying <laughs> at the after party because they miss you so much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Really? Yeah, I can only take so much sucking up in one evening. It was definitely time for the Irish goodbye. I love the Irish goodbye. What is it? Uh, the Irish goodbye is when you sneak out the back door without saying goodbye. I learned it from a friend of mine, Dave, back in L.A. I love Dave. Saves an hour every time. <sighs> for you? Photographers were extra crazy tonight. Is it just me? I think it's a good sign. I'm your movie's gonna be a big success. I think they were more interested in my supermodel girlfriend. If they only knew that you had a weakness for late night gelato. I love that gelato. Too bad, right? And that sweet little man. Mr. Campisi. Yeah, who's he? He's actually an old friend, and I may have told him that we we're gonna stop by today. Okay, I was lucky enough to live here for about four months, five years ago. You know, and I was working on that big submarine film. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, me and the guys in the cast uh, ate about one meal a day over Mr. Kent Pesey's shop. I practically lived on the tomato and mozzarella paninis. That and the gelato. So, you know that route we took through the kitchen? Yes. That's, that's why he let us go back there. You've been on that route a million times. That is the secret escape. But not works. with other girls. No, no, no. With the guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a secret escape, and it works every time. The only thing I'm bummed out that you missed out on, though, is Mr. Campisi chewing out the paparazzi in Italian. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> it never gets old. What's going on with you? I don't, I, I don't know. I was just having one of those moments tonight. Um... Yeah, you seem a little... But do you ever have one of those where all the cameras are flashing and everyone is smiling around you? And you know, no, I know, you absolutely know that you're the luckiest person in the world. Yeah, but... But... but you still feel a little bit lonely.
You know, I've got another theory why this Brenda stuff is hitting you so hard. Take your best shot, Mike. Okay, okay. It's because of where you are in your life right now. You're estranged from your kids, mm -hmm. from Carly. Mm -hmm. Your best friend is locked up. And you've got a long-lost son who wants to have nothing to do with you. No, that makes me feel real nice. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry Sonny. I'm just saying it all ties together. Yeah. It's not who Brenda was to you. It's who you were when you were with her. Everything was so much simpler back then. Exactly. Everything was less complicated, which meant that you could just focus on Brenda. I gotta make some money, right? Hey, hon, I know what you want. I got the English one. I've got an update for you about Jason.